Elizabeth Montgomery could twitch her nose and get whatever she wanted in Bewitched. And indeed, she could bewitch America's most famous bad boys. Stay tuned to know the dark side of Elizabeth Montgomery's love life. For eight seasons, Elizabeth Montgomery enchanted TV viewers as the charming and beautiful witch next door who tried to lead the ordinary life of a suburban housewife. But as hard as she tried, bewitched Samantha Stevens could almost never resist bringing the fantastic men in her life with a twitch of her nose. Her list of men included high-profile names like Elvis Presley, President John F. Kennedy too, but it is in keeping those relationships afloat that she struggled the most. Elizabeth's complicated relationship with her father colored her relationships with men most of her life. In fact, Elizabeth suffered from father complex. As a young actress, Elizabeth was always drawn to older men and sought after troubled men who always abused her physically and mentally. Her first marriage was to Frederick Gallatin Kamen, a New York City socialite who was almost a decade older than she was. He was a Harvard graduate and a member of the prominent Kamen family of New York. Their paths crossed and the spark between them was undeniable. They fell in love and in the year 1954, Elizabeth Montgomery and Frederick Gallatin Kamen decided to tie the knot. Elizabeth was focused on her acting, while Fred was establishing himself in the banking world. Their marriage was strained by their busy schedules and the pressures of their public lives. Their marriage didn't last because Frederick wanted the star actress to become a full-time housewife, and Elizabeth was not ready to give up acting at the peak of her career. There were also reports of abuse, but Montgomery never came out to the public about this. After her first marriage ended, a few years after her divorce, Elizabeth Montgomery didn't shy away from love. In fact, it was during the later part of the 1950s that she found love again. This time, she got romantically entangled with Gig Young, an American actor who was almost her father's age mate. Gig Young, born Byron Ellsworth Barr, was a well-known actor of the time, having made his mark in Hollywood with films like Come Fill the Cup and Teacher's Pet. He was known for his suave and charming demeanor, and his good looks certainly didn't go unnoticed by Elizabeth. They were both actors, after all, living under the constant scrutiny of the public eye. Gig Young battled with alcoholism and depression, issues that put a significant strain on their relationship. Despite their shared career paths and the love they had for each other, the stressors of their personal lives proved to be too much. Their marriage, like Elizabeth's first, was short-lived. In 1963, after seven years of marriage, Elizabeth Montgomery and Gig Young decided to go their separate ways. Elizabeth was very lucky to have left this marriage in one piece. Gig shot his next wife and killed himself immediately after with no reason for his action. During these years, Elizabeth found herself intertwined with some of America's most famous men. Montgomery and the President John F. Kennedy became good friends, although he was known for his flirtatious habits with beautiful women. Montgomery was a known Kennedy supporter and even campaigned for him during his presidential run. The rumors of an affair began circulating after Kennedy's assassination when Montgomery was seen crying hysterically at his funeral. There is no concrete evidence to support the claims of an affair, but given Montgomery's close relationship with the Kennedy family, it is certainly possible. Author Pilato notes, he chased almost every beautiful woman he met, though if anything happened, Elizabeth never spoke about it. Gary Cooper was much older than her when they worked together on The Court Martial of Billy Mitchell, and a stagehand reportedly catching them together in Cooper's dressing room set off an on-set scandal. According to reports, Montgomery fell for Elvis Presley on the set of the 1962 film Kid Galahad. Though she wasn't part of the project, Montgomery would stop by the set often to visit her then-husband, Gig Young, who starred opposite Presley in the movie. During her visits, Montgomery and Presley would allegedly flirt with each other, which didn't sit too well with Young. Elvis Presley was closer to her age when they co-starred in Kid Galahad, but he wanted her, Pilato revealed in his book. Her much older husband got upset when he saw Elvis flirting with her on set, but Presley called him an asshole. Although both Presley and Montgomery were notorious flirts, it was never revealed whether or not they actually dated. But even if they did, their relationship would have been short-lived as Montgomery married director-producer William Asher in 1963, a year after Kid Galahad was released. Her third marriage was with bewitched producer and director William Bill Asher. Their marriage ended because of complications from rumors of an affair on the set of Bewitched. Elizabeth had three children with Bill, William Asher Jr., Robert Asher, and Rebecca Asher. However, this marriage too couldn't escape the shadows of infidelity. While actress Elizabeth Montgomery largely had third husband Bill Asher to thank for receiving her iconic role on the beloved 1960s television series Bewitched, that didn't stop her from cheating on him with one of the show's directors during his production. It's Richard Michaels who was hired as co-director in the series during its later season. 
Richard hit it off with Elizabeth almost immediately. As the filming went on, they started to fall in love with each other. This love is hard to hide from other people on the set of the series, including Bill Asher. Apparently, it wasn't long into Samantha and Richard's affair that people on the set of Bewitched began to take notice. When the news of their affair broke out, Montgomery's marriage ended, and Michael's marriage fell apart the same year too. After Richard Michael's wife found out about the affair, she divorced him in 1972. Of course, that wound up being the same year that Bewitched aired its series finale. The following year in 1973, Elizabeth Montgomery and Bill Asher divorced. And as a consequence, Bewitched was doomed to fail after this, especially considering the fact that Elizabeth never wanted anything with the series. In an interview with Fox News, author of Twitch Upon a Star, Herbie J. Pilato revealed that Montgomery hated the Samantha Stevens character after the eight seasons. When her contract ended, ABC offered her a fortune to stay, but she turned it down, he said. After eight seasons, she had enough. She wanted to get away from Samantha Stevens as far as she could. Amid these romantic endeavors, Elizabeth was drawn to ballet dancer turned actor Alexandra Godunov and had an affair with him while dating the man who would become her fourth husband. Alexander Godunov would later become a successful actor with films that included Witness and Die Hard. Godunov was an alcoholic, abusive, and self-destructive and would eventually drink himself to death. After years of tumultuous relationships and heartbreak, Elizabeth found solace, Robert Fox. Known for his roles in television series like Falcon Crest and the original Battlestar Galactica, had been in a relationship with Montgomery for almost 20 years before they decided to tie the knot. The couple reportedly started living together in 1975, not long after Montgomery's divorce from her third husband, William Asher. Montgomery and Foxworth's relationship was private, largely kept out of the public eye. They were together for nearly 20 years before deciding to get married. They got married on January 28, 1993. This was by far one of the happiest moments in her life, as she seemed to rediscover herself and found her inner tranquility. Unfortunately, fate tore them apart. Weeks into her marriage with Robert Fox, Elizabeth requested to be carried to her home in Beverly Hills, which she shared with Robert as she did not want to die in a hospital bed. She died six weeks after she was diagnosed and 18 months after her marriage with Robert. And soon after her diagnosis, she died unexpectedly after a short battle with the disease. She died at the age of 64. Elizabeth Montgomery's life was a whirlwind of drama, romance, and heartbreak, a tale as enchanting as her portrayal of Samantha Stevens in Bewitched. Elizabeth being attracted to older or troubled men, possibly linked to her complex relationship with her father, despite facing numerous challenges in her relationships, Elizabeth's continual search for love suggests an inherent optimism and resilience in her character.